My name's Lauren Pandolfo. I am the Zebrafish Resources Operations Manager here at the Baylor College of Medicine. We've been working with Technoplast to build a brand new state-of-the-art facility, which we launched in 2019. I'm Lance Squires with Technoplast. I've been in the industry since 1999, developing state-of-the-art aquatic systems, and I'm the business manager for the aquatics product line at Technoplast. One of the advantages of being a long-standing member of the aquaculture research community is that I've been able to see different life support systems, different research models evolve over time. Having worked in things as simple as a standalone fish tank like you would have at your home, to something as elaborate as the system that we have here, where I have remote access, all kinds of elaborate monitoring, and very fine specificity, it's been a real pleasure to see how innovations have improved our ability to create what we are ultimately after, which is a stable, reproducible environment for our animals, which ultimately translates to a stable and highly reproducible research output for our investigators. In this particular year, we've had the joy of hurricanes, floods, some very rare, very disruptive ice freezes, and of course, the global pandemic. Throughout all of these different hurdles and challenges, our facility has fared far better than many of my other peers' facilities, and a lot of that is due to the innovations in this life support system. Because I can remote access any of it and make adjustments and observations, no matter how much staffing we had, there was always an ability for us to maintain control and make adjustments no matter where we were, whether we were tele working or working in the facilities. We were able to design it with redundancies and features in place. If certain components went down or failed or needed to be serviced, there was backup components that would turn on automatically to keep the system operational. Having a life support system that holds your hand, that tells you what's going on, that is mostly automated with the ability to bring in preventative maintenance service and other kinds of emergency and repair services is a really strong benefit so that our researchers can spend their time doing research and not focused on optimizing and caring for all of the components of life support. We were able to design a state-of-the-art research system that didn't use any consumable filters or components. It handles 24 multi-linking racks. It has three Tritoni auto feeders and Calypsos as well. The Tritoni auto feeder is a self-feeding system where you're in control. You can control which feed, how much feed, and how often each tank gets. Before every feeding cycle, it scans all of the tanks. So you can play musical chairs with all of your tanks, it doesn't matter, it rescans every load. We had to convert terrestrial model space into our aquaculture facility space. We were having a real challenge trying to figure out how to provide an appropriate amount of animal cage wash equipment into our space when we had very, very small, very old rooms. The Calypso is really nice because it fits through a normal standard door. We could actually fit two in a very, very small space, and the cycles are very, very quick. From the moment we turned the life support system on and began housing animals on it, we could see some of the much needed improvements and stabilizations already available to our animals. This environment here helped us to create a colony that leveled out a lot of these variabilities. Our animals had a higher survival rate, our animals hit maturation at an earlier time point, and our animals produced more eggs of a higher quality. It's really nice to be able to control a finite curve on the system and really dial in and lock in the parameters you want and know that they're going to be that consistent throughout the life of the project research or the life of the system. We have 40,000 animals on this one facility. If you were to compare that space to other animal models, you just need much, much bigger footprint to be able to achieve the same high throughput, high density of a colony.